Hey guys, welcome to Lax Tech. So today I'm going to show you guys what's in my tool bag here. Uh, there's a couple subscribers that wanted to see what's in my, uh, I call it my diagnostic bag. So here it is right here. We're going to go over that and uh, lay everything out right here for you guys. The desk here so you can see what I got here. So um, I do have uh, my bag. This is what I wear when I, when I uh, do diagnostics. I come in and I... Uh, I have these little lock these straps on here. This uh, Klein belt and these Vito bags here. This is the TP4 bag here. And this is the MB bag here on this side. So here's the MB bag. MB TP4 with the Milwaukee um, shoulder straps here. So we we'll put it back here so we can go kind of go through it. <clears throat> so first, first we're going to go through all my screwdrivers here so this right here is the demolition uh, driver here it's the flathead um, screwdriver but also you can um, hit it to open a flange or, or get something kind of use it kind of a little bit of pry but I've been, I have snapped them in the past so not really meant for a pry bar um, but hey you gotta do what you gotta do but really good screwdriver demolition so it has a striking plate on the top so you can use a hammer to drive it in somewhere and separate a flange or whatever. So there's that. And I have my daily. This thing's cool. So um, this is a, a basically four screwdrivers in one. Um, this this here it is uh, you can that's a, a Phillips standard size and then you can make it long right here and then uh, you flip it around the same exact thing, standard or long. Or long. So this is, this is my head. But that's that driver there. So that's four different drivers. This is five. Um, here's a just a little nut driver here. I only really make bigger ones. I just don't like having all these multiple parts I could lose. So I haven't lost any of these yet. I don't really like six in ones because you always lose the bits. But um, so here you go. You have a five sixteenths. Uh, three eighths, um, three sixteenths, and a quarter. So most likely uh, five sixteenths quarter we're gonna use. And then you have, I believe this right here is a nine sixteenths here. So um, that's that one. And terminal block and DIN. So this has two different purposes. DIN and terminal block, it's a little screwdriver, but it also uh, has the DIN connection where you can actually put it in and it opens up the DIN connector. Um, so terminal block has those little screws, style screws, um, but it serves two purposes and I'll show you the DIN style uh, um, insulator one for like controllable, like control signal, like uh, 420 milliamp or whatever that I have. We don't work on live circuits, but I will pull a 420 milliamp signal off, put it on, either, like, hook a meter up to it or or, um, or test a valve uh, while it's live, but not, not Nothing but the 120 volts or um, 480, nothing like nothing like that. So make sure the circuit's dead and locked out. There's that there, and then we'll go to um, uh, this little stubby six in one. Uh, it's only six in one I carry. Uh, it's stubby. I still got all the bits for it. Um, kind of neat. Uh, you know, you get your number one Phillips, number two Phillips, and then you have. And it's all quarter, yeah, quarter on this side, five sixteenths on this side. So this is a little six and one here. So six. So so far, the uh, many tools you see here, uh, it takes up a lot of place, a lot of different tools. Um, these tools consist of your uh, demolition screwdriver, um, which is one, one basically one driver, usually for one purpose, uh, flathead or, or demolition, but kind of. Um, and then I have my, this disc driver here is four different drivers in one. This right here is five. So that's, that's, that's maybe 10. And then 11, technically 12, because it serves two purposes. And then uh, 12 plus six. So that's 18, 17 different, 18, I'd say mainly just 17 um, different purposes. But if you consider DIN the purpose, then uh, 18. Um, that's the 18 different drivers right there. So I'm going to put these uh, out here. And I do carry some Allen wrenches with me. Um, I, have a, I had a Klein set. 
uh, Allen wrenches, but those somehow walked away. So I just took these out of my uh, uh, my uh, other little bag I had. So that's an Allen wrench. So I have Allen wrenches on me. So just in case I need to pull some apart, to just diagnose it. Um, and I have a TXB wrench. This is this is a, a yellow jacket. It has a spot for the tighten the packing on a TXV and has a smaller um, 1 8 and uh, the uh, 3 16 um, size is there for your most of your TXVs. And that's really those little spool and solenoid valves, uh, the 1 8 opening. So, and then uh, so really cool is this, this is made by Maco. Uh, it's a little little service uh, tool I use um, to get me out of a jam. So this thing will, um, if you look here, it's kind of, it flexes. It has a, a like a bit holder here. You can hold, put all your little bits in there. Um, and a little, little quarter inch driver. So um, you put a little socket on there. And, and if you get a hard to reach place, you know, you can get in there and take it out. This thing has saved my ass um, so many times. So, yeah, get these here. And then, uh, here's my service wrench. It's made by Gear Wrench. Uh, they don't make these anymore. Uh, they stay out of stock all the time. Um, but uh, it has an adjustable, just regular service wrench. I keep it oiled all the time so it doesn't hang up on you. Anything with buying gears like this, you gotta oil all the time. Even your normal service wrench is here. Yeah, it's, it says uh, clean and oil regularly right on it. So you can see that. But it says clean and oil regularly right on it. So. That's it. Okay. I got um, just some uh, box end ratchets here. Uh, this is four different ratchets. One, you have a uh, uh, 3 8 5 16 7 16 and half inch and this one here this is gear wrench as well I keep that on me so because I, I don't know what to get myself into is diagnostics so same thing here um, uh, 9 16 11 16 5 8 and 3 quarter you know uh, kind of I do have a bigger one sometimes I'll take with me and uh, that bigger one looks uh, I don't really keep it in my bag and my diagnostic setup all the time, but I will put it in there. So, and this is uh, 13 16ths, 15 16ths, uh, 7 8 1 inch on the bigger stuff. But this technically doesn't really go in, in, in my bag. I put it in there when I need it. So, that's um, that's not needed all the time. Uh, so, and then we'll go to uh, the four wrench here. Um, You've seen this little video I've done on this. You have a four wrench here. Uh, this right here is a crescent wrench, but this is multiple purposes. So I use this thing quite a, a, a lot. So B A H C O. Backo. Uh, um, but you can get these at United Refrigeration. Let me make sure this thing's tight. You're losing. Uh, but uh, it serves as a pipe wrench as well. Works really well. Um, I've, I've, it locks on there really good. It doesn't really slip off. You get it on there tight. I mean, this is old and beat up, and it still works pretty well. So, uh, good crest wrench, nice, comfortable handle. Um, now we're getting into electrical stuff. So here's some, wire, some quick wire strippers here. A lot of control wires, nothing really big. I mean, you can probably use this up to probably maybe down, I'd say 10, 10 gauge, maybe, it's in the six. I'm um, sorry, that's like eight, eight gauge. Um, um, but I would say it says 10 to 20 uh, aug right on it. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't go below 10 gauge on this thing, or 10 aug. So these are kind of cool. You set the tension here, you can set the length for control, lock it in. And you can always, when you're doing the control, you can always strip the wire the same length every single time. 
and here's some more strippers here. Um, uh, just when you get in there, I most, most, most of these them for uh, needle nose, or if you have to do like a precision, precision stripping, you get in there tight with something, you can take those off. It's kind of hard to reach this in somewhere. So, the strip wire. So, you got these. Also, these serve as little bolt cutters, so little control bolts. You know, little screws that you, you can screw in there, you can cut them the right size. So, that's what those do. And I mainly use them for needle nose, cutting those little control bolts because we use those quite a bit in controls. Um, these here are for copper conductors only. So, uh, do not, uh, don't cut steel wire with these because you'll, you'll mess them up. Um, and crimping, so cutting, cutting wire and crimping only. So insulated, you have the insulated, non-insulated uh, crimping style there, and uh, they work pretty well. I love these things. So got the older style uh, grips on them. I like these grips, but the other, other ones kind of these, these ones over time they'll kind of pull off. So, um, but uh, I haven't had any issues with these ones. So let's see here. Lights always shut off on me. So, um, and then we have little channel locks here. This is the Milwaukee channel lock. These things, um, not that great. You know, probably have had some little channel locks, but hey, I was at Home Depot one day and I just picked these up because I needed them. So they help out quite a bit. And then when you're not cutting, when you're cutting anything um, else that's not copper. These dikes, metal. I cut a lot of stuff with these and. These things work pretty good. Like I said, these things kind of slip off. I've put them on a couple times, but um, um, I barely use these. I mostly only use copper stuff when I'm cutting wire. And uh, if I need to cut metal, I'll grab these. But that's that's why they're in there. And I have one other thing in here. That's the this is for Den, the WB uh, ZWB Wolde uh, Mueller um, um, insulated. Then, so this is when you have those electrical connectors that that uh, you push in, and it opens up the, the it opens up the contact points. So you can stick the wire and pull the wire out. This is what does that, and it kind of has a locking edge here. There's a locking edge on here that allows to do that. But you can see that they're both the same size. It's the insulated version for 420 millivolts, or, or oh, sorry, uh, 420 milliamps, or um, two or ten. Uh, uh, volt, zero, zero, 05, zero to 10 volt signals, just signal wiring, nothing, nothing for um, not 120 or 24 volt. Even 24 volt, I, um, if you arc that out, you're going to blow a fuse or have an issue. Uh, you're not going to arc anything out with zero to 10 volts or or um, uh, or uh, quarter 20 milliamps. So that's why we like to I like to use this when I'm working on those circuits. I think that's everything, in the, and I got my electrical tape and, uh, and uh, uh, tough on tape there. That's everything that's in this bag. That's everything that's in there. I don't got any extra bits or nothing in there. This is what I use to diagnose everything I need. Let's go ahead and put all this back in there. I'm gonna put this there. Put this one. This right here. Here, this goes here, this and this, here, and this goes up there, this goes back here, this goes back there, this goes back here, this goes here, and these two go right up front. That's that, so and then we'll flip it around. We'll do my meter bag. So this is the, uh, like I said, this is the Vito, uh, Vito MV bag. Um, I do have uh, some cool, um, I do have this little, this little tool here. It's a Klein uh, magnet, and I want to take a view from it. It's a, you know, you need a, you know, you can take this and, you know, okay. Hold itself up, kind of neat here. So, and then you don't want to pick up stuff that's magnetic. 
So you need magnetizer. So. Yeah, it's not sticking anymore. But those are cool. So get get that if you're if you like to have magnetic or non-magnetic tools. And then uh, so in this bag here we have a little control fuse puller here. Um, the little control fuses. And then um, I like to have this for pulling down control fuses. Have some things here. Just some extra fitting extensions in here. And uh, little uh, quarter inch ex uh, gauge extender. Um, they do have a gauge in here. It has some marking tape, so I do mark valves and I get more of that. And uh, here's my little peanut gauge. So I need to extend this, I can. You know, extend my peanut gauge when I'm working on Freon systems. And uh, when you get down to the meter, uh, and this is my daily driver, so uh, I use this for everything I need uh, for diagnostics. So uh, voltage, um, DC, AC has filled sense, um, uh, continuity ohms, and uh, that's basically all I need it for. So um, goes up to uh, 1,000 volt cat three and 600 volt cat five or cat four, and then. Uh, Very neat. Has the filled sense, so it's kind of cool. And, I think, and then I have my clink duck knife I use for cutting insulation. So, you've probably seen my manual leak video. I was using this knife to cut through that metal <laughs> as well. So, this will cut through the metal insulation jacketing and also the insulation very well. Keep them nice and sharp, and that'll last a long, long time. And that's that's in my diagnostic bag, you guys. So, next, uh, next video, I'll do my my repair bag. I do, do repairs. Uh, it's down there. Uh, it has a lot more wrenches and stuff in it, and stuff when I do repairs. So that's just diagnostic. And when I diagnose it and I figure out the issues, I get the parts. I come back and uh, I grab my backpack, it's a Vito Pro Pack, and I put my backpack on and I, I, I go to the area that I need to fix. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.